The green flag then about to wave at the back. We have the green flag. Soon we will have the lights. We have two, three, four and five. And in Abu Dhabi, we're racing. It's a good start from Peak. Too much wheel spin from Coletti. And alongside them all comes Riquelme. Tries to get around the inside of Peak. And Peak defends too hard. And Coletti gets around them all, but runs wide at turn one. Almost everybody uh, runs a little bit wide at turn one. But certainly Coletti does. But he holds that position from Peak. And Felipe Nazo with a wonderful start once again is up into third place. And looking at second on Peak as Chicotto defends from Riquelme. And Palmer's up there as well. Van Dorn going around the outside of Harry Anto. We'll have to go around the outside as well at the hairpin. Harry Anto runs wide. That's all too easy then for Stoffel Van Dorn. But it is Stefano Coletti who leads this race from Arthur Peak with Felipe Nazza bearing down on him. Uh, flat tire, flat rear tire. And Nazza now on Arthur Peak into the braking zone at the end of the back stretch. Nazza from fifth is up to second on the opening lap. Busy. Oh, he was for a moment. And uh, there is Peak taking it back. Chicotto holding off those two dams which go side by side. And Nazza is all over the Frenchman coming through the chicane. Mitch Evans gets past Jolien Palmer. And here comes Stoffel van Dorn on the champion around the outside as Nazza has got past Peak. Nazza into P2 defends, defends. Dust being kicked up everywhere, but the Brazilian into P2. Evans around the outside and Palmer spins. Champion spins. Did he take a knock or did he just spin under his own steam? Holds firm, holds firm. Everybody gone through and Palmer can light it up and spin it around. No, he has stalled. Champion is out then, Luca, on the opening lap here in Abu Dhabi. What a thrill ride through these opening few corners. And Stefano Coletti it is who leads from Felipe Nazar. Great job again from Felipe Nazar. He was very aggressive. He took the position from uh, peak by uh, being very aggressive in the chicane and then uh, he got it on the back straight. So good job from him. Uh, he needs to keep pushing and try to get a position from Van Dorn. And the best thing for Felipe Nazza right now is the fact that Stoffel Van Dorn is way down the order. Over the line is Coletti from Nazza, peak from Chicotto, Riquelme from Evans, Van Dorn is... Uh, from peak at the moment, but... Uh, oh yeah, that's a restart. So... Here comes Riquelme up on the inside, can't quite see it from this angle, and we'll see it from the next one. Now look at Riquelme on the right-hand side in the yellow and black dams, gets past Coletti, and now here comes Peak. Coletti gets squeezed, goes round the outside of them both, and, uh, well, manages to keep his foot stuck in, and that certainly gives him a little advantage. Certainly Chicotto takes a little advantage from that as well, but uh, we've seen it before. Yeah, he yeah. just uh, pushed a little too much Coletti by carrying a little too much speed into turn one. I'm sure he was very clever when he went to the left at the beginning. Then he had to leave the throttle because he had no space uh, to go. Got squeezed, didn't he? Yeah, he got but then Nazza. he did a good job by going to the, to the right. There we go. He gets squeezed, goes to the right. And Nazza threads it up the inside here. Chicotto runs a little bit wide. Oh, look at that. Deft from uh, Nazza. Really lovely drive from Felipe Nazza. And already all over the guys. And here we are on board with Van Dorn. A little bit of wheel spin watching a couple of guys fly past him. Moves to the right. Sensible move from Van Dorn. Gives him the wide line. Ooh. Yeah. So tricky for him. And this was uh, Nazza already past peak and then defending into the corner 